What's up, family? How y'all doing? It's your girl, Lil, coming to you with another video, guys. And today, 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 we are going to update all of our savings challenges. Woohoo! I hope everybody is doing well. Hey, yeah, guys, I want to thank you so much for all the love and support. I want to thank you so much for watching this channel. I hope that you're growing. I hope that you're learning how to stay disciplined on your money and your finances. But we are to be stewards of our own money. That's what the Bible tells us, okay? So guys, how about I have some great, great news to share with you. I'm gonna share the great news first and then we'll go further on in the video because this was one of my sinking challenges, um, my sinking fund challenges. And the reason why I wanna share it here because you know, I only have three things, three saving challenges, but I wanted to do this with you guys. I am so excited to do this with you. As well as you guys have known, I have been on a goal. I've been trying to meet my goal and completing this, paying off my debt of $7,000. And I can sit here and honestly tell you as of today, I off the remaining balances that I have for my credit card and I just wanted to share these in along with my family to tell you guys if you stay disciplined, you stay mm -hmm. you trust God, he shall show up for you, okay? All that hard work last year has paid off. So let's color all of this in. I don't know why I pick red. Oh, that's kind of loud. I'm sorry if I'm hurting your ears. I'm just excited, honey. You know how when you accomplish something, this is like paying off your car, honey. Like, look, you done accomplished something for real, for real, right? Look, I'm being sloppy about it. I'm just excited that this is finally over. Over. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, I was smart about mine because I didn't know this when I was um, in college or as a young adult that you pay off your credit cards, but you do not close them out. You don't want to mess up your credit. So just because you paid it off does not mean you go and tell the people to close out your account. Pay it off, leave it open, and, you know, go to, um, when you use it, you ain't got to use it right away. Uh, uh You can wait three, four, five, six months, almost a year to use it again. But when you use it, be smart of what you use it and make sure whenever you're using it that you can go back and pay back that money immediately. Like for me, if I was to use this card again, which will be a long time before I use it, but it will be this year, um, I would use it just to get some gas, you know, and then pay my gas money back off that same that same month. Once it hit the account and it shows up on the statement, I'm going to go right on there and pay that gas off immediately because, you know, I'm already budgeting for gas. So I'll be like my girl, Sanai, what's up, baby? Shout out to you. And, um... Pay that bad boy off right away. Okay. Yeah, son. Pay off her credit card. All right. I'm not going to keep on with this because I'm boring, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. Let's move on. Let's move on. So, the other one is my girl, Legendary Shay, had me on this budget for the longest time because I was watching her videos and I love the idea of it. But let's update our dollar a day. Currently, our dollar a day has $560. And we are going to update Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today is Thursday. And I'm also going to add Friday as well on here. Or whatever goes up to $20, which would probably be like everything to Friday, but one day of Saturday or a dollar for Saturday. So let's get the dollar day envelope and yes currently it does say in here it has $24 excuse me guys that's my daughter in here give me these back go on about your business yeah they always want to come in here and mess with you when you're trying to do a video right love them dearly but um there's $24 in here because I haven't taken this $24 to the bank to go with the balance that I had in there um, so 136 plus this 24 made the 560. So here's 24 and we're going to add this $20. I still have to put $8 in by um, Sunday to make us have $588. So right now in here we have 20. 
um, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44 dollars is gonna go into this envelope until I can take it to the bank. So once I get the other eight dollars in here, then I will take this to the bank and it will be 588 dollars in there. Okay, so that's that, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Because 5 and 4 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I just need to add in the $7, $8, $8 more. Okay? My beautiful $5 challenge. We can move you over to the side because you're taking out the room. Okay, boo? We love you, but you're taking out. So here's the $5 that I had in my envelope. And I have $15 in my envelope. And I'm going to add it to... The five dollar challenge that I have going on, and currently, right now, I have four hundred dollars in the bank, including what I have here. So that's four hundred in there, so that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five, forty. So I have four hundred and forty dollars that I have saved so far as of today in my five dollar savings challenge. And what I do once this gets to, um, $100, I take the money to the bank because I don't want to leave it here. Uh, either I have a safe place to lock it up, I just take it to the bank. So that's that. And then, girlfriend, girlfriend, this is week nine. And week nine, we are going to have $45, which I've already shaved it in. So I need to add $9 to this. And I have my $9 right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here's my nine dollars going into this envelope. I don't. Let's count it all together. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Come on, y'all. Let's do this. 45 how about that all right and then i have one more that i'm going to do with you guys so let me grab it and i'll be right back okay be right back you know what i can just close this up like this i'll be right back i have one more i want to show all right guys i'm back now Dun, 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 boom! There it is. As everybody knows, this is the month of March Madness. If you are a basketball fan, a sports fan, you know about March Madness. All of our college players are doing their thing this month, okay? And my girl, Cassie J. Budges, guys, go check out her channel, okay? She came up with this idea. That's what I hear. Um, and I am so happy to. Um, I'm not a part of the 100 people that was picked, but I am a part of doing this challenge with them. I'm excited to do this challenge with them. Um, let me tell you what I know, because I've been watching pretty much everybody's video <laughs> that has been doing this. So what I know is that we have a March uh, Madness budget envelope um, edition. And this envelope is for the month of March. So, what happens is, every Saturday for the month of March, and they give you one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, um, you are going to save money. So, you can save a actual dollar amount that you want to save and throw in here. Or, you can join your girl, Neil, and do it this way. I decided what I was going to do, because we have... March 6th coming up, um, which is this Saturday. And then we have um, March 14th, and then we have March 21st, and then we have March 28th. I hope I'm right with them dates, hold on. I feel like I'm right, but let me check. Got my daggone thing right here. Let's look. Let's look what my calendar says. I believe those are the dates you have. Yes, it's um, the 6th, the 13th, the 20th, and the 27th you have for this contest. Um, or for this challenge, not a contest, excuse me. 
So what you can do is, like I said, you can pick an actual dollar amount that you want to save or you can do what your girl's doing. And what I'm doing is I am going to clean out whatever cash I have left in this wallet every Saturday and I'm going to put it inside this envelope. And then when I'm done at the end of the four weeks or the end of the month, I'm going to take whatever money's in here and apply it either to one of my savings challenges or apply it to one of my sinking funds. Um, so that's something that you can do because I couldn't really come up with an actual dollar amount that I want to put in here. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to take every amount of money that I have left over in my envelopes and put it in here. And then at the end of the month, whatever's left in here, I have much money is in here. I'm going to take this money and I'm going to put it towards one of my envelopes. So that's something that you can do. Um, like I said, it's up to you how you want to, you can spend this money if you want to come at the end of the month. You can save it. It's just a fun challenge that she did. And I am so excited to join all of the hundred people who are supporting this or are the fans like I am to their channels that are supporting them and promoting this so fun, so crafty idea of saving money, okay? I had to get my words together because I'm just excited to be doing this. This is just such a great idea. So guys, I don't want to keep you no longer, but this is what's going on. And I hope you come and join all of us that are saving money, budget channels. You know, you're supposed to go on one of their channels. You're supposed to leave a comment. You're supposed to hit the like button. You're supposed to subscribe to their families. Do all of that stuff if you want to be a part of the challenge. I'm just supporting it because I love the idea of it. And I thought it was a great idea. Although I do support their channels and I am subscribed to some of their channels. Um, but I wanted to just be a part of the budget family and join them. So why don't you join them? Go on to um, Rochelle. It's um, another YouTuber. She has these, um, these printables that you can print them off for free. I'll leave the link in my, um, in my, you know, in my description box so that you guys can get it. But she has it too, and it's free. You don't have to pay to get these. It's very free. You print them out. I print mine out on cardstock, and then I just put it together. That's all. Fold it up, put it together, and then I will start using it come this Saturday, March 6th. All right, guys. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. But as I always say. Stay disciplined, stay focused, trust God in everything you do, and he shall show up for you. Love you much. Bye-bye.